completely anticipate that I will find somebody and that I will be able to find somebody who really loves me too. You know, just it's a matter of when and how that all works out, but that's something that I look forward to in my life. Family that we all have recently extracted ourselves from. You know, whenever we get together and have parties, it's always been a lot of fun. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. Lightning has struck twice on the Brown family because another one of the sister wives is off the market. Well, ex-sister wives. That's right, Mary Brown, who has been hinting on talkbacks and lookbacks and on recent wedding episodes about how she's going to find someone and she wants to be in a relationship, and that will happen. She's going to manifest that. Well, the hinting is done because yesterday was her 53rd birthday and she announced her boyfriend, Amos. Not a lot is known about Amos, but she shared a series of photos and internet sleuths actually had posted a couple photographs of Mary spotted with a guy a few times in the last several once, months, once in Lehigh at a Christmas event, and another one was at a diner. So we'll share those and give you some more information about that. And I wanna just circle back to this article that came out in September from The Sun, which assured everyone that Mary was literally waiting for Cody to come back and that she was never gonna move on, never gonna find anyone, and was gonna come back and be with Cody. This is why everything that comes from the sun is coming one side of the story, Cody's side, whether it's a friend, a family member, I don't know, but we'll circle back to that and let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't subscribed, and click on the bell so you never miss a video. On the episode of Christine and David's wedding special, Mary said that she was looking forward to moving on in her life and finding love again. She didn't want to be alone anymore and she foresaw this happening in her future. The commentary for this episode for Christine and David's wedding was likely filmed sometime in November. So by the time that Mary was saying that, she was already dating her new man. So in a series of photos on her Instagram said this, birthday number 53 is looking a bit different for me this year. And might I say, I like how it looks. Meet Amos, the good looking guy I've been dating since October. He's not six foot six, nor is he a pilot, but he loves Christmas almost as much as I do. And we laugh a lot together, both of which are important elements to a relationship. Also, Zona absolutely loves him. Be sure to swipe to see the cutest picture. I've been keeping this kind of close to me as we've been enjoying the last few months of dating and getting to know each other. As I've considered when and how I wanted to share this fun news and share him with the world, JK not really sharing, I'm keeping him to myself. I knew I wanted to celebrate my birthday in a special way and let you celebrate this with me. I feel like I'm getting this year off to a great start and I can't wait to share more with you as the year moves forward. So she shared three, uh, four photos and the first photo is of her with Amos, there was another one with the dog, and then there was another one with the two of them outside, and then one with Amos's hand and a dog paw. So back in the winter, there was a Redditor that actually spotted Mary and this guy out at a dis Christmas dis display light, and it said, I was at Christmas light display tonight at Thanksgiving Point in Lehigh, Utah, and Mary was in front of my group the whole way. She was definitely, she has definitely moved on from Cody. This guy kept her close and warm. It was very nice to see her with someone. She looks happy. So this guy was also seen with her at a diner months ago, again, by a Redditor, which was posted on the Sister Wives Reddit. So she's been keeping this a secret, but if you remember on the very last, I think it was the talk back with Jen, Jen sort of dropped a hint that Mary would be 
dating in the future. So Jen and Mary don't like to keep, are, are have a difficult time keeping secrets. So they dropped a ton of hint, hints along the way and let, lots of people were suspecting that this was happening just because of the photos that were circulating. There was a new article every day about Mary moving on and Mary's boyfriend and so much discussion about who was the new man. Now we know his name is Amos. Beyond that, we know next to nothing because Mary did something differently than Christine. When Christine introduced David as her boyfriend last year, she tagged him in a post on Instagram. Instantly, that gave everyone information on who he was. He was David Woolley. But Mary did not tag anyone and she only used his first name. So right now, we don't really know a lot about him and nobody has really said much of anything. I reached out to a couple of people I know from the AUB and none of them recognized him. So as far as I know, he doesn't appear to be familiar to people within the AUB. So I don't know that he, I don't believe he's a, you know, former polygamist and she is not interested in sharing him. So she is going to be in a monogamous relationship with him. So if they have been dating since October, it has been three months that they have been together. Now in the world of Mormon fundamentalism and Exmo world, that would mean they're engaged by now. <laughs> in this world, marriages or courtships and dating is a very short period and they get married very quickly. I have no idea if that is what's gonna happen here, but it seems like you don't launch your boyfriend onto Instagram unless it's serious. And given that she's 53 and she he was with her when she picked out a dog, it makes me wonder, is Zona actually their dog together? Like, did they get a dog? We'll have to find out. Now, in comments, she was getting exploded with so much positivity and so much happiness and so much overwhelming praise for her finally finding happiness. She absolutely looks amazingly happy. You know, getting rid of 180 or 90 pounds of curly locks, ramen hair, and finding a new man that's embracing his balding and not trying to hide it with bobby pins and noodles is it makes a woman look great she's not dealing and it looks like he adores her so that makes me super happy for mary now i want to circle back to an article that was out back in september and this was on the sun and it said that mary hasn't given up on her marriage to cody and is going to wait for him to return to her life this was published on September 30th. So whoever was saying this about Mary had no clue what was going on in Mary's life. Now, Mary met the new man, Amos, within weeks of this. So I'm guessing the source here was Cody, and it was Cody believing that Mary hadn't given up on Cody. So this is what the source says. Mary hasn't given up on her marriage to Cody. She might have separated from him, but she's not ever going to leave him. Leave him. She's going to wait for him to come back. And that they went on to say that a big telling reason why she's not ready to move on is because she has rarely gone on any dates. So I'm imagining Cody at his house in Flagstaff, just imagining all of these scenarios of Mary is still at home, in, is at the inn in Parowan, and she's still pining for him. And Janelle is going to get back together with him. Because remember around the same time he was saying that Janelle was wishy-washy or a source was saying that Janelle was wishy-washy and might reconcile with Cody. Remember that? Okay. So this proves to me that Cody knows absolutely nothing. And she said, but the source went on to say, she might not find love again because she's really not putting in the effort. She's perfectly okay with being independent and just enjoying this time with her friends and focusing on her businesses. You know, this is what the codester felt. And he just thought she was gonna wait around forever and sit there and pine for him and never find love again. I don't think people understand that it was last fall or early summer that Cody and, and Mary had a huge falling out about Leon's transition and Cody not supporting Leon and the way that Cody had treated Leon in the aftermath of that really caused a big divide between the two of them. But in C Cody's delusional world, he believed that Mary was going to come back or he that she was just going to wait around for him because he is apparently a narcissist. So Mary did in fact move on. And again, I wish I had way more to say because 
I want to know all the details. I want to know all the things about Amos. I mean, okay, so he's not a pilot. He's not six foot six. He is cute. She looks very happy. Mary deserves happiness after all of her years of pining around and waiting around to find love or waiting around for Cody. Now, I do want to preface this by saying there's a lot of outlets right now that are saying that she's found love again a year after her split from Cody. And I'm thinking she and Cody split like more than eight years ago, nine years ago. She just formally left the family last year or in 2022. She wasn't with Cody at all in any capacity. So it's not like she's moving on quickly. She's not. She sat in a dead relationship for eight years, nine years, maybe a decade where Cody wanted nothing to do with you, her. I mean, mind you, even before, so he brought in Robin and he was melting down her wedding ring. So back in 2009, Cody was done with her. So she sat around in that marriage for that long with no, no contact with him, you know, no, and certainly nothing beyond 2015. So Mary isn't just quickly moving on and finding love again and rebounding. Mary has been solo. She's been independent. She's had nobody sharing her home with her for years. A little bit different than Christine, but not, I mean, at least Cody did go over to Christine's house, though not as much, but a definitely a different process here for Mary. Christine left because she didn't want to, she knew what was going to happen to her. It was going to be like what was happening to Mary. And she didn't want to, she didn't want that for herself. She didn't want that for Mary. She wanted Mary to find happiness. And so Christine left instead of waiting around to see if Cody would, you know, finally want her to be back in his life. And Mary stayed, but Mary was never with him. So I kind of want to like tell people, you know, Mary wasn't with Cody that entire time. I reached out to some people from the AUB and I shared some photos with them and everyone was just so happy for Mary. Everyone was so glad that she had found love again, that she had found happiness. I know a lot of the people that have left the, the church and have left this group, they've all told me over and over and over again that all they've ever wanted for the women was to find love, was to find happiness, was to find what it meant to be in love and find someone that loves them for who they are and not for what they can give them in heaven. Now I, as the days roll on, will be interesting to see what she rolls out about Amos, uh, what we'll find out about like, what does he do for work? Where did they meet? What was their first kiss like? I'm just kidding. Uh, what are their future plans? I wonder if he's from Parowan or if he's from Lehigh or if he, I wonder how she met him. I mean, did Jen introduce her? introduce him to her? Did she meet him through one of the MLMs that she's in? He certainly doesn't appear to be from the polig world. He's not a plig. So with Mary on the off the market, that only leaves Janelle left. Now I'm trying to imagine what the reaction of Cody is going to be once everything hits the airways and he sees what the reaction is from Sister Wives fans, from the media about this relationship because now Mary is starting to receive a lot of positive feedback and a lot of positive attention. And Cody cannot stand when one of the wives gets positive attention that he wants. He doesn't want anyone to get attention but him, in my opinion. And I'm trying to imagine what he's thinking now in Flagstaff because I don't think Cody ever thought that Mary would move on. I don't think Cody ever thought that she would find anyone else. I think Cody told himself over and over and over again that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to these women. They'll never find anything better than me. And I bet you that's a loop that played along in their heads for years because abusers love to say, you'll never find anyone better than me. You'll never find anyone that loves you more than I do. And even though Cody said horrible things to Mary on the show about her being unsafe or whatever, and we all know her being unsafe is her being worldly and having friends outside of, you know, polygamy and owning her own businesses. God forbid you do anything for yourself. He's framed her as this volatile, hard, hardened, horrible woman. And then you look at that next to the photographs that she's putting out on Instagram and it doesn't even match. 
and you look at how happy she looks with her new boyfriend and and you realize every single woman that has left Cody looks better. They look happier. They look healthier. Several of them have lost weight, even though it doesn't matter. They have their skin looks better. They look like all of the stress that they have been living under for years is gone. And Cody really thought he was God's gift to women. And this has got to be eating him alive because now another wife is getting attention for finding someone better. And they're going to be cheering her on and praising her for doing something for herself and taking care of herself and getting the love that she's deserved for years, for years. All of these women have deserved more than Cody, all of them. And I'm glad to see Mary moving on. I think of all of the wives, she deserves this in so many ways the most because she has been the most abused of all of the women by Cody. So back in Flagstaff, I have the sneaking suspicion that he is going to have a myriad of exclusives coming out from the sun or whatever tabloid. And it's going to be all about some spin about this dude. Remember when Christine and David got together, the son would like somehow get these like leaks from the courts about, you know, a police report or a call to 911. And it always felt like Cody was like feeding them information. Now you could do a little bit of sleuthing on David, but there wasn't a lot of in David's background beyond the fact that his ex or his late wife, you know, passed away. Beyond that, he didn't really have a trail. So with this, with him being a complete an anonymous and the fact that even only a few days ago, the son is publishing that Mary is going to wait for Cody. I mean, they republished that t September 30th article in an article about how C Mary didn't care about not being invited to the wedding. So if Mary didn't care about not being invited to the wedding and th the son thought a few days ago that Mary was never going to move on. Cody still probably thought that Mary was never going to move on. I have a sneaking suspicion he has zero contact with her outside of the show and they don't film together. So with that being said, Cody's biggest fear in life is poverty. And I think that he did think in a way that even though he's sort of getting back into this world of monogamy with Robin, I think in some ways, even though he ended things with Mary, even though Janelle left him. I think in some way he thought these relationships would come back together. Even though he says Mary was toxic for me and we didn't have a good relationship. I think in some way he wanted her to pine and maybe come back and like live in the barn on, on the property in the shed and have access to that money. So now he really, he's, he's, there's, he's cut off from Christine's revenue stream and the biggest earner for the family was Mary and hers is like, it's gone now. She's taking all of her businesses and they still need to sort out a lot with their finances. They still own Coyote Pass together. He still, oh, he still owes her money for the down payment that she gave to him for Robin's house. So what I would love to see in the next year is Mary even take her power back further and nestle in and get hunkered down with Amos and then start fighting for what she deserves, which is her equity in Coyote Pass, the money that she deserves to be paid by Cody and Robin for what she gave that to them for her home, her getting what's due to her from that marriage. She deserves the money that she gave to them. She deserves all of that back. And I would love for it to happen in no better person than the man that has proclaimed that nothing scares him but poverty to after years of exploiting these women and stealing for them to have them finally show him what poverty is like and have him go back to his roots and have him lose everything. It couldn't happen to a better man. I don't frequently wish for this to happen to people, but with Cody, that's what I hope. I hope that he's trembling in fear. I hope that he's really freaking out that he's going to end up in poverty. And I hope the women who have moved on are not only happy, but also find the courage to get the money that they deserve and to maybe get a spinoff to show who they actually are. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye.